What's going on guys? It is Michael. Welcome to the fourth video in four days on my channel. Going for five in a row this week and I just got back from the grocery store and instead of just putting everything away, I thought I would make a video over it. And this time when I went to the grocery store, I focused on getting variety because variety is the spice of life. Sometimes it's easy just to go to the grocery store and buy like the same 10 to 15 things over and over again. And I was kind of doing that every single week because I hate going into the grocery store and it's easier just to go in, I know what I want, I know exactly where it is. But this time I took a little bit more time, looked around some more and I picked up some variety. So let's go ahead and flip this around. So here's most of the groceries that I bought. Obviously it's not everything. I bought a couple of each thing just because I hate going to the grocery store like I said and it's just a mess every time you go. So we'll start with the basic stuff. You know, I got some fruit here, strawberries, you can't go wrong with these, some blueberries, and of course, another Big Bertha. I have to get one of these every time I go to the store just because they taste awesome. And I've got the flat out light Italian wraps, and these are frozen peas, and there's a hole in the bag, and I spilled half of them on the floor, but thankfully my dog just ate them all. So my dog is living a healthy lifestyle. And here is most of the variety right here. And if there's anything that you want me to make a recipe video on with any of these ingredients, that's why I bought such a wide variety of things because I wanna make some more recipe videos with some different ingredients you don't usually see. So I picked up some steak. Maybe I could do a grilling video with the weather nicer. And the macros on the steak, it's really not that bad. It has obviously a little bit more fat, but really you can fit that into your macros so easily. Like if you have two tablespoons of peanut butter or almond butter a day, just don't have those and you can enjoy like eight ounces of steak and it's going to taste really good. In here, we've got some tilapia. I bought tilapia and frozen salmon and the nice thing about this is since it's frozen, I can just put this into my freezer and just pull one out if I run out of chicken or anything else. It's just always there, ready to go, and there's no rush to eat it because it's frozen. So that's just another positive right there, and I love the taste of salmon and tilapia. I love fish a lot. Maybe I'll make a video on those as well. And right in the middle, I picked up some turkey at the deli, and this one is the lower sodium. I mean, there was like 40 choices, and I just pointed at one, and it happened to be the lower sodium. A little bit more expensive, but again, this is such a convenient source of protein. Like, if I wanted to just take some of this turkey right here and put it on a flat out light Italian wrap, wrap it up, throw some lettuce and mustard, and there you go, a lunch right there that would take you 30 seconds to make. So if you're at work, if you're going to class or you're a student, bam, high protein lunch right there, on the go and convenient. Like I said, I picked up some chicken, and right here I picked up these things called turkey breast cutlets. It's basically just like really thinly sliced turkey. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I like turkey a lot, and the nice thing about these is that since they are so thin, they will cook really quickly on a George Foreman. I've bought these before, and they take like, seriously, like five or six minutes to cook on the George Foreman. Season them up and it's going to taste great. And then just for some more portable snacks, I actually had some dried pineapple the other day, and I don't know if I'm late to the party on those, but it tasted like one of those fruit snacks. Really good, so I picked up some dried apples and some dried blueberries. Just to try them out, I've never had them before. And the macros really aren't that bad on those either. You get Obviously, most of the calories are from carbohydrates because it's a fruit. You get some sugar, some fiber, and it's just another on-the-go snack. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying all the videos that I'm posting out. And again, people are asking why I'm posting so many, and it's because I'm just feeling the love and support from you guys. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I wouldn't get mad at you if you gave it a like. Thanks again, and I will talk to you later.